Hey guys, it's Chris. I come again with a new tutorial. Today we will rebuild a battery charging circuit design around TP4056IC. So let's get started. I included this battery charging circuit in one of my old circuit designs, but it hasn't a battery protection stage. So this time we will go for a bare schematic. The main component of our circuit design is the TP4056 lithium battery charging IC. This chip could provide charging for one lithium cell at a time. It means we can not use multiple lithium cells to charge them together through one TP4056 chip. And it could work through USB port and this is what we will consider in our design. It also has a temperature sensing input to measure the battery temperature to regulate the charging current. And a programmable battery charge current depends on the used lithium cell reference. The chip includes two charge status output indicators designed as open drain outputs. Our schematic also includes a battery protection circuit. I mainly use the DW01A battery protection IC designed to protect lithium batteries and increase them lifetime through its charger detect input pin and the MOSFET gate connection pin for charging cycle control, then this chip has to be installed alongside with a MOSFET. And this is what we will need in our schematic. The IC has a very compact size making it suitable to be installed in small circuit boards. As always, I move it to Altium Designer to draw the schematic related to my circuit design and here I placed the USB-C connector as main power entry and I brought the TP4056 and DW01A chip and I connected it to a MOSFET. Here I placed a battery header connector for charging output. I mentioned that the TP4056 has a programmable current charging pin that could be configured depending on the used lithium cell and here are the possible combinations. I used a 1K ohm resistor to match the current needed for my small lithium battery. These two LEDs are used to indicate the charging status of the battery. I grabbed all my components from Octopart, there you can search the needed components by them references and easily get access to their CAD files to download them and add them to Altium Designer, then you brought them to your schematic. After getting the schematic ready, I transformed it into a PCB design and I placed the parts in a small board size layout as always. After getting the Gerber files of my circuit design ready, I moved it to JLC PCB and I uploaded my design files to place a PCB order from them. And I selected the minimum settings for economic order price and due to the very small PCB design size, I got my boards for free. Just 6 days later and the blue box is on my desktop and here are my small charging circuits perfectly produced. I put the solder paste on the components exposed pads and placed the components to their placements on the board. I used precision tweezers for this task because I'm dealing with very small components here. The next step is soldering. I'm very happy to use this cool small size soldering hot plate from Miniware, especially because it matches the small size of my PCB designs. And here is a microscopic view of the soldering process you can watch my posted shorts for more electronics assembly tips. Do not forget to clean the board with some flux removal solvent. I then added the battery header connector and soldered the through hole pins of the USB connector. And here is my charging circuit ready to start. I placed the battery to the charger and plugged the USB connector to a 5V power source. And here we go. The red light indicates that the battery is in charging mode after waiting for some minutes and the green light indicates that the battery is fully charged. Then the charger circuit interrupts the charging current output to protect the battery. And here is my battery charger. By the way, the same circuit is available in several electronics web stores but I just did it myself to test its functioning and now this confirmed circuit schematic is useful for my future designs and I can directly include it to the common gadgets. That's it for today guys, do not miss to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more electronics videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.